Hi folks, my name is Evie Nevin. Welcome to Neuro Pride 2021. Today I'm going to be talking about the link between Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and autism. I was diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome when I was 26 and I wasn't diagnosed with autism until I was 33, which is a common enough story amongst women and girls with either condition. So what are the Ehlers-Danlos Syndromes? They are a group of connective tissue disorders and genetic connective tissue disorders that essentially affect the production of collagen, collagen. The condition produces faulty collagen and in some of the types of EDS, there's too little collagen. So for my type, which is hypermobile EDS, which is the, the most common type and also the type you kind of see um, autism and other neurodivergencies in. So it basically means that my collagen and anybody with this condition um, is stretchy. It's like chewing gum, whereas like the glue that holds your body together, which is collagen in, in normal people, um, would be more like household. So the most common symptoms are uh, dislocation of the joints and without any kind of major trauma, chronic pain, chronic fatigue, dysautonomias, gastrointestinal issues, autoimmune um, conditions can also play a part. And these are just a few of the things that can happen with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Um, because of the faulty collagen, our joints are hypermobile. And what do I mean by hypermobile? You might commonly have heard it referred to as double jointedness, right? So our, our joints are hyperflexible. Um, but in addition to that, our muscles, our tendons, our ligaments, our organs, our veins, our arteries can all be stretchy too. And so it can, can wreak havoc a little bit in our bodies. There, the, we do see that there is hypermobility in a lot of people with autism, but it is, it, it is important to note that hypermobility on its own doesn't necessarily mean there is an issue, that there is a diagnosable condition, okay? And we see hypermobility in lots of other conditions as well. So if you want to kind of see the diagnostic criteria of the Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, do visit ehlers-danlos.com. So like I said, there is research to show that there is a link between EDS and autism because it's no coincidence, according to the researchers' beliefs, um, that there's such a high prevalence of hypermobility in people with autism and high pre uh, prevalence of autism in people with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Many people with EDS also have a lot of sensory processing issues and obviously that goes largely hand in hand with having some sort of neurodivergent uh, neurodivergency. Uh, in 2016, there was a Swedish study, interestingly, that d was looking at this link between the two, um, between Ehlers-Danlos and autism. And what they found was that like mothers with EDS were more likely to have children with autism. So it, it's definitely plausible that there is some sort of connection there. But the working theory is, is that collagen plays a role in the development of a fetus and their brain development. And... Researchers also believe that the mothers with EDS who tend to have like autoimmune problems um, will more likely have children with autism as well. So there's a few autoimmune diseases that kind of go with having EDS. So um, psoriasis, mast cell activation disorder, rheumatoid arthritis, the list goes on. So there seems to be some link there between the mother's immune system and the development of the, the, the neurodevelopment of a fetus. Now, one thing to mention as well, that, that's also common in people with EDS and in um, people with autism, is dysautonomia. So what is dysautonomia? It is not just a long word, it is um, basically a group of conditions um, where your autonomic system is basically dysfunctional. So what's your autonomic system? It's everything your body does automatically, your heart rate, your blood pressure, your breathing, blinking, your um, digestion, uh, you know, anything your body does automatically, your autonomic system is responsible for it. And we often see in people with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and we see it in people in autism. So for more information on EDS and hypermobility spectrum disorder, which is also very closely connected, you can see ehlers-danlos.com.